so when you connect the charger you will notice that it will do nothing to the next usb-c port and that nothing so what happened why is this one not charging hello guys welcome back to ifix tech today we have a macbook air that pretty much is not charging so when you connect the charger you will notice that it will do nothing so we replace the charger to the next usb-c port and that nothing it won't charge at all you will see that it won't even change you will even notice that it has a charger connected this is supposed to change to the charging mode so what happened why is this one not charging it might be different issues so you want to first First of all, to troubleshoot, just change the charger, change the USB-C cable um, to just troubleshoot and see if that is the issue. If after changing the cable on the charger, it doesn't charge or you don't hear the chime, then try the next port. If when you try the next port, you hear the chime and it starts charging, then the problem is just the port. If you hear the chime, and no charging uh, might be the port yes but it also might be something else might be something wrong with the battery if you hear nothing when you connect the charger then the problem is just the ports and as you can see here they can be swapped all together on a single sub card and that's what we're gonna do right now first and first what we're gonna do now is remove the 10 p5 or pental 5 screws from the bottom case It's always good idea to keep your screws organized so at the end you know where they go. Now using a suction cup you will remove the bottom cover. Remember to take all the ESD precaution when you open up a computer. Remember to always disconnect the battery before you start working with the other components. And this component right here on this corner is a USB ports, but it's gonna be more comfortable if you flip over the computer. Using a T3 screwdriver, let's remove the two screws from the cowling. Remove the cowling. Disconnect the port flex cable. Now, using a T5 screwdriver, you're going to remove the two screws from the USB port subcard. Now, let's remove the port. You can try to wiggle it until you are able to take it out. As you can see, this port looks in a very bad condition. So it is very likely that this is the cause why the computer is not charging. Compared to the new one, as you can see, it looks much better. Now let's replace it. What we are going to do now is just put the new subcar the ports in position. Using a T5 screwdriver, we are going to reinstall the two port screws, but we are not going to tighten it complete. We are going to take a USB-C cable that is not connected to the power, and we are going to connect it to each port before tightening its respective screw. This way, we ensure that each port is well aligned. Then just reconnect the port flex cable. You should be able to hear like a click. Make sure it is not loose. Reinstall the cowling and the two T3 screws. it's time to reinstall the battery.
make sure the lever is fully secure all, all the way down. Otherwise, it can get disconnected and the battery will not work. Time to reinstall the base cover. Just place it in position and press down. For now, we are not going to reinstall the P5 screws. Now is the moment of the truth. We are going to connect the USB-C cable and if everything is fine, we should hear this sound. As you can see, we already have the charging signal. What we are going to do now is test each of the ports. You can uh, rotate the USB-C cable 180 degrees, then uh, we do the same with the other ports. Uh, in this way, we ensure that they are working correctly. Very good, but uh, remember that we have not installed the screws yet. Let's take our P5 screwdriver and reinstall them. Remember to turn the MacBook back on to make sure everything is fine. This was how to change your USB-C ports on your MacBook. I hope this video has helped you. If you have any question, just leave your comment down there and I'll do my best to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.